Today we're making a modification on the old fashioned using Rumson's Grand Reserve and some blackish cherries. What are you, racist? <laughs> Check out our new ebook, Explorations of Rum, at homecocktailmenu.com slash shop. Welcome to Cotman Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schoenner. I've got with me the Rumson folks. Wait, let's go with Ian. Yeah, I'm not a Rumson folk. Nope. Uh, and, uh, Eric, Eric and Steve. And Derek. Howdy. Oh, I think oh, I said my name. I don't work for you guys, but I'm a fan. So. No. I don't work for anybody. But you could show him your tattoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got on the wrong oh. arm here. Wrong arm. Oh, yeah. His first tattoo. <laughs> first tattoo. Oh, look at that. And it only lasts Well, he doesn't work for us. Just a brand ambassador. Yeah, yeah he's a brand ambassador. <laughs> so she's. I'll do that. Twinsies. Twinsies. Um, so today we're making the new old fashioned. Wait, that's yeah. redundant. Wait, no. Negative. So we're just making a fashion. Cooks. We're making a fashion. A fa we're making a fashion. <laughs> yeah. A new fashion. Oh, nice. Well, there's an old, there's an old fashion, and then there's a new this one. This is sort of like the, it's a variant. Yeah, yeah variant. It's, it's, like like it's not new or old at this point. It's just no. fashion. It's just fashion. 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 Right. The fashion includes two ounces of Rumson's Grand Reserve. Good sip of Oh, the fine uh, size. <laughs> three dashes of Ango bitters. Two, one cube of brown sugar. I've just got a big old bag, so we're gonna measure a teaspoon. I believe is what a cube is. Yep. Right. Orange wheel. Yep. Three black cherries. Yep. We're gonna muddle the orange wheel and the black cherries with the. Uh, I'm liking that. Brown sugar. S yes. And then we're gonna add the uh, ice and rum and bitters. And in today's Stir executive producers, Taylor, uh, Taylor and Susan Meal. Susan Meal. Uh, I believe Bobby's in, in the chat room. Taylor might be too. Um, Bobby is also one. our editor for our, our ebooks because she kicks ass at English and I suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this was submitted by Steve at Rumson's. Hey. Did you have anything to do with this? Did you I like, this? you know, or did you the Grand this? Reserve yep. is meant to be enjoyed straight up um, or over ice. But mm -hmm. every Me. once in a while, you just want to do. Uh, so, is there any relation to having out. used Angostura, which I believe is from the Trinidad area too? Our rooms cool. are Caribbean based. They uh, so you bring they do have some Trinidadian Trinidadian heritage. Trin so um, no, we just like the Ango bitters. I like I. You know what? To me, Angostura bitters are kind of like they're they're the trade spice. They're the bitters. It's like everything. It's like everything that pirates killed for. <laughs> Except for the whole rum, oh, rum and gold, and port wine and Madeira women. and women, yeah, and slaves. The any of those two. <laughs> it, wow. it was a weird time. They were diversified. There was, yeah, <laughs> they were very good entrepreneurs that had very short lives. Uh, two ounces. Yeah, so an ounce and a half, and then. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, there isn't a whole two ounce on one side. Nope. Yeah, there is. Oh, is it two ounces? Oh, it's two. Oh, God. Uh, oh okay, yeah, it is. Okay. It I've, been, I've been using the ounce and a half measurement and then flipping over. Uh, <laughs> you know, it looks good, on, it looks good on video. Yeah, yeah, throw me a new tool. I don't know how to use it without the instructions. <laughs> well, I'm giving you some instructions. It's got four yeah, measurements. You know. <laughs> That's what was supposed to make it so awesome. Is you didn't need, do you need ice in there? Is that yeah, coming? it's coming. Dude, that already looks good. I want it now. I don't know, right? But it's not very cold. It Where's my clear ice? Uh, in <laughs> this is the worst thing you could ever do to this beautiful cocktail. Okay. Is, is to destroy it with... Oh, there you go. I was going to say. Wow. <laughs> that was that was disturbing and normal at the same time. Somebody Didn't now, somebody leave a comment <laughs> saying... Oh, the, oh, somebody said, oh, Ian's signature movie, Lick the Spoon or something. <laughs> it's really cold. Or Lick the Finger. Uh, and we also have to give it's like the 30-second rule. It's clean enough. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's a is clean. Yeah. We're going to give it a, it's like a unofficial dog stir here. How's that unofficial? You're literally doing Well, I'm not using a spoon. I'm going to wing it with a knife. So. Oh, I'm sure that there's... I'm sure bartenders there's Somebody's are... going to be watching. Oh, they're, doing the they're crying in their drinks right now. If I stir it with the with the flat end... Oh, Jennifer, you going to take a photo of this? Uh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> it, 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 you, you guys heard this. I got criticized for this. Where's my spoon? Yeah, spoon. Is this a good spoon? one? Should no, this a, little bit, please? This doesn't really matter. So... Keep going. I have another spoon here. Yeah, yeah, everything falls out. That's normal. <laughs> 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 like a little lag. Wow, there so it is. You're going to get put to work here? Yep. I mean, but you seem that uh, the spot <laughs> no. is not you're quite the same spot every time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Throw me so out. I get criticized <laughs> <it's top side>. because <laughs> I was stirring with this side. Like, seriously? I'm stirring with this side that has a spoon on it. Okay. Dude, that's not how it's done. No, it's, yeah. not. it's done this way, apparently. So let's oh, look. Ian. There's got to be a logical it's explanation close. as to why that is. Uh, uh, it's supposed to move faster, I guess. Yeah. That's a delicious looking drink with those cherries in there. Mm. What am I doing? Sipping. So it's gonna get stuck oh, it smells just like awesome. I don't. Mm. Yeah. I could just like. Yep, you could. 
smell this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like it smells like the uh, reserve flavor or aroma. The cherries don't come out. In the aroma. I guess I feel like on NCIS you could put that one on your nose. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's not like privacy. Up. That's gonna be an NCIS. Yeah. Thing. It's a little higher class. I like, I like NCIS. <laughs> all right. Well, why don't you just rub it all over your chest? I might do that. Yeah. I get all sticky. Right. Well, next for the yeah. guy. Mm. Yep. You gotta give it the sniffy sniff, mm. and then it's good. Yeah. I like cherries. I like it's that. a potent drink, but I could probably drink a bunch of those. I yeah. guess it is like, potent. I could see drinking that like like in a, a cigar lounge, mm. like just shooting the shit with buddies, talking about what the like tops of the day are. Yep. You don't do that. Drinking them way too fast. That would actually <laughs> slow me down a little bit. It's a little sweet. Would it? Yeah. I would drink it straight or yeah. neat faster. I have, a, I have a big slow uh, sweet tooth, so. Um, it's it is it's not that potent, but it does almost taste more like you're drinking a, almost a, a straight flavored dish rum. Mm. It's got like the. That's kind of what it is now. Sort yeah, of like it's, it's like the rum. Orange. It's like, it's like <laughs> if you took cherry orange with a little brown sugar note. <laughs> it's yeah, just exactly. like that. Oh, crazy! It's, yeah, a, it's, like, it's yeah. a good drink. And some and some island trade spices once stolen from pirates. <laughs> Actually, I think that's, we determined that's pirates a good, don't smell that's like good rum, right? point no, that. that's what about uh, tipping on or slowing down. You no, like I, to. when you fill your glass with that neat, it tends to go really quickly and you refill and refill. That's so, bad. That's dangerous. So this will slow me down. So like then I sip that like a regular person with a cocktail and yeah. have conversation. Is I it going to slow you down because of the sweetness or because it takes too long to make? <laughs> no, I'm not sweetness. making it. Somebody has oh. made it for me. I'm yeah. patronizing a bar and I'm going to drink that a little slower than I probably would if I had just the Grand Reserve straight. I don't think there's either. I don't. Yeah, it's going pretty slow. I don't think. I don't. I, I don't I'm trying to. I'm trying to come up with a, a I scenario. Say whatever our next drink is, we double the recipe yeah. just to get some longevity. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna drive later, so I'm not gonna go. I'm. Crazy. I'm, I'm, totally I'm trying to entertain an, a scenario in which what you just said for me would make sense. <laughs> but I feel like it's going to go equally as quick. Equally as fast. Yeah, yeah it might. I thought I'd drink a little slower, but now the second sip, it's like, yeah, that's good. Because there's a little bit, the, the sweetness is like a little a dry too, citrus. so it makes me want to keep mm. getting that flavor yeah, again. Slice could yeah. be a little more generous. What? To, to slow you down? My orange slice could just be a little more citrus, citrus taste in there. there. It's a little, it's a little yeah. sweet cherry, and you could have a little more orange. It makes me sweet. think of a sangria just because of the yeah. little cherry. It is. It's like almost like a rum sangria without the wine. Yeah. Oh, so it's like it's almost something that you could add to it. So instead but of having a 14%. Like you drank that like you a problem. Yeah. And right. I, I'd, I'd 14, 40. Maybe, maybe more than one. <laughs> I'd go down Problems. to this rum if we were going to add some wine, I think. Yeah. yeah. I would not have a, 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 it, You, you don't need to add wine to this. It's already 40%. Add like a cognac yeah. or something. 40%. Like their, uh, sangrias. Yeah. 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 Right? yeah. So I could, I could see that. That's good. Stuff. Yeah. Or add a little of that too. Like you, I wouldn't put wine in there though. No? No, just the way it is. Yeah. Oh, in here? No. Because wine would ruin it. Because it tastes like But if you're making a sangria, See. Yeah. I can see those ingredients. Being Personally, right. well, if I was making a new old fashioned, we could just call it the rum sangria. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Well, without the sangria and wine. But right. sangria and doesn't necessarily denote wine, does it's, it? It's a fat. It's I sangria fashion. There you go. Sangria <laughs> fashion. <laughs> I guess it could. It, it might have that. The, and like yeah. people would just assume a sangria has wine in it. But it's tasty. Yeah, they could just read the ingredients. Tasty. Unless they're stupid. I don't want to knock sangria, but that's what my wife drinks. <laughs> <laughs> my wife won't touch wine, so you no, already have like, like I mean, she drinks a lot of other things, but like often she will drink... Like red the, or sure, white? Sure. Red. She can't drink the white. See, I love red wine, and I'm the only one here who drinks it, so I end up oh, with like I a love little red wine. I went over to Barcelona for work in December, oh, okay. and sangria is big over there. Yeah. So it's like you, you get some dinner, you get a couple of glasses of sangria, you go about your business and go get some more sangria at the next bar or whatever. And it seems to be a very, very popular drink for everybody over there. Predominantly reds or whites? Reds. Reds. Yeah. See? Okay. How do you guys drink your... Question of the day. How do you drink your sangrias? Reds, whites. And why don't you go to recipe... Uh, send recipe at everydaydrinkers.com your sangria recipe because I have to make sangrias eventually within the next three months. I don't remember why. Yeah, what, I think I put that on my uh, list of things to do. Corollary to the question of the day. What's your... Uh, not just red and white, but what spirit do you use to bolster your sangria? Do you use tequila? Do you use rum? Do you use... Cognac. And then write what corollary means so that I can <laughs> We use rum. Yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so so do you, you guys have a lot of this stuff at home? Yeah. 
<laughs> you know that remind you ever see the Saturday Night Live episodes where Chris Farley's doing interviews of famous people? It's like, do you remember that movie you were in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, that that was, was awesome. awesome. That was awesome. awesome. <laughs> There's always at least one bottle of each at home. And there's always some in the warehouse. There's always some in the car. So you like me and buy it from yourself when you run out? I do that with my ginger um, beer. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Like I like. Oh man, I gotta have to buy some more. It's gone. What's well, you gotta have it on hand because you. You're, and by oh, buy, you're, I mean you're inventory. Working, right? minus you're always one. promoting wherever. We're you either are. sampling it's, as a sales pitch yes. or yeah. sampling to the you know consumer at, like event for their tasting. So the sample bag, the brief, our briefcase is full of rum. That's yeah. basically. A, it's in your best interest one to I have it with you at all times. Yeah. yeah. Now, is there are there any legal ramifications to carrying bottles around? Do you have to get some license? Your front. Yeah. You have to be licensed. We have a bottle container license. Yes, the open container. Gotcha. You have so, what? The thing does that exist? In Massachusetts. Seriously, you can drive it's around and bring it around. I have a feeling that they probably <laughs> with like a roadie or a beer it would yeah. not be... No, no. Okay. Somehow it wouldn't nice. translate. But where can, <laughs> you, you went in an open container. I thought the rule was as long as you can't reach it, it was cool. Is that not a thing? There's a seal, but we always, we always have scenario. open containers. Like if we put these bottles in the cars, then they're now open bottles. Yeah, but would they, what if they're in your trunk? Well, I drove a Mini. It doesn't have a trunk. <laughs> Good point. I'm you looking at it from my perspective that. going, well, I have I have to drive around with alcohol, too, because people love me to make drinks at their house. So, But I put them in my trunk. Mm -hmm. or trunk, like, I think, you're okay. Yeah, I, think I just want to make sure. I, I, don't know. Know. Yeah. Yeah. I think Masters there's something to that. Yeah. Yeah, if you cannot I, use, I use my cup holder, but I've never been pulled up. <laughs> 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 my, yeah, when, it, when it's too cold to go between my legs, I use the cup holder. Yeah. 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 I'm, drinking that. I'm not drinking that, officer. It's just there for looks. Yeah, no, yeah. It's just, I'm just getting it from point A to point B. It's cool. Yeah. So how many how many people when you when you do like a, a tasting how many people that taste do you think convert to like fans or they buy it from then on does oh, anybody ever follow up really? a good amount yeah, a lot. surprisingly it's, yeah it's uh, our our turn's pretty high every store we go into in New Hampshire I don't get the same feedback but if we're in Massachusetts we do a tasting this is the best spirits tasting we've ever had nice. every single time well uh, not, not much maybe not every single. But Every most time I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just have to do it every one of them. Yeah. So then they, that's it. They just buy it. Yeah. Now, do they ever complain that it's too much, too much money? Because it's a more couple than people. Are, I mean, but I mean to compare. So this is this is thirty two bucks. Right. You spend it on a, You're going to spend twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight on captains. Yeah. Or so it's more than, than captains. Yeah. You know, which captains? Time. The regular like captains, seven fifty. Talk about, about two. Yeah, it's going to be about twenty seven. Really? And it's less booze. So yeah, it's more. It's I mean, we're premium spirit. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Right. Right. But if, you, if, if in the rum world, we're clearly more expensive because most of the rums are cocktail rums. But if you put us into the world of, like, whiskey today, yeah. we're cheap. Yeah. I mean, right. You're spending whiskey's a lot of money on whiskeys. 30, um, 40, 50. That's yeah. for the regular stuff. You know, yeah. going up higher. I mean, the rum enthusiasts who are already, already, yeah, yeah. already rum drinkers will come here. It's... It's comparable. It's where all of the other players are playing. And this one, I assume, is going to be more because the reserve is going to yeah. be more. It's, it's got so the more reserve. Price. Yeah. It's got to be yeah. more money. Forty-five ish. So yeah. it's a big bump up. But I like get, the, but I get more because people get that there's a quality relationship to the price. So I don't get a lot of complaints that the price is too high. What I get is, are you doing nips or fifths or like smaller yeah. right, right. portions that they or can, can I buy? Have or can I have a hat? Yeah, everyone wants a hat. Can I have a hat. Buy a hat on the website. <laughs> we have hats. <laughs> they look great. That's it. Now, how do you like cool. This is fantastic. Can I have a hat? Yeah, like, exactly. But, everyone wants swag, right? But we do the rums and hats. If you swag. buy three yeah. bottles, you get a hat. Hat trick. Hat trick. Oh, nice. I would. I like it. Yeah. That makes Sometimes it works. Like, that's a good sale. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Move three bottles in a pot. I would think that, yeah. And then they take them home. But the thing is, you still get a hat, right? And so they get free, you get free marketing. But they have to drink them, and they're probably going to drink them with some friends. And then those yeah. friends are going to be like, "What's that?" And then yeah. they're going to go, and they're going to go to the store. They're not going to get a hat, but they're going to at least be able to buy the product. I, I get the impression that anybody who buys this and takes it home, they're going to share it with somebody else who's a fan. And, and they most of them. And it helps yeah. spread because yeah. I, I know when Kurt brought it over, we were like, "Wow, this is great stuff." Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I told Dan about it. He, he That's liked true. It. He, you he already have it. three people by having one person who mm -hmm. work. Right. Her, you know, I guess. Yeah. He has the background and you can like yeah. if he came over and like, hey, you should try this well okay so you are like to distill you were a whiskey taster you've worked for brands and you've been ambassadors and you're saying this is good well that's fine all right shout yeah. out to curtis for yeah. introducing us to uh, common man cocktails <laughs> and, and now everybody Thanks, else Kurt. has to buy it and they have a shout out to us yeah i got business cards you know uh, <laughs> um, so there you go that is a cherry flavored rumson product with fresh cherries i'm going to say they're black cherries 
Ah. Recursion. I don't know. Right there. That's that's a better. Better. I, don't know I think it's much better are. than yeah. using Elixardo in here. That would if be you've got a monochrome sweet. monitor, <laughs> then they're definitely black cherries. Maybe yeah. I'll have to set the episode to black and white. There you go. That's not going to do that. Then you can put some old timey music on the back. I've done that with Spin. It is a classic drink. Yeah. That's true. Spin. Yeah. So, we're done here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the show. We're teaching you how to drink. I think everything makes it way. Delicious. Sorry, I didn't even see you open it. I'm just like, oh, you open bird. What was wrong with it? Was it making noises? Yeah. I heard animal chicadas or whatever they are out there. Oh, the garage door's open.